And the Lord says today to mount up with wings as eagles. You know, and as we do that, as that prophetic voice comes into the church, as it comes into the body of Christ, then we are strengthened uh, with his might and with his power. You know, that's what I want to talk about today is that this is a critical time in, in the earth. Uh, we see many things happening. Oh, we see earthquakes, we see hurricanes, we see uh, winds, we see flooding, we see famines. We see all of these things, the signs that are pointing to uh, the body of Christ being lifted out of the earth. So I want today to talk about the mounting up of the prophetic voice or the mounting up of the eagles. My name is Sherry White, and yes, I am an eagle. And I fly uh, in, in the spiritual realm, uh, bringing down the strongholds uh, of the enemy and taking the kingdom of God by force. And we're going to talk a little bit about that as well today. But thank you for watching and thank you for viewing. Thank you for all of your support and your comments that have been uh, very encouraging to us. My name is Sherry White. We're coming to you from Fountain Life Ministry International here in Athens, Georgia. I want to start with Isaiah chapter 40, uh, verse 29. It says here that he gives power to the faint. He gives power to those that feel like they can't go another step. And to them that have no mind, he increases their strength. Look at that. Hallelujah. And it says that, but they that even the young youth, the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. There's so much pressure on our young people today that we need to be giving them the word of God, the water of the word that will strengthen them uh, for going out and doing what they need to do day by day, um, resisting temptation, serving the Lord with, with, with courage and with might. Um, in verse 31 it says, But they that wait upon the Lord, those that come into agreement with the Lord, those that serve Him, those that seek His face, those that seek the kingdom of God. You know, that's part of taking the kingdom is seeking the kingdom of God. It says, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. See, when we come into the presence of God, when we come and we seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, all of these things that we need are added unto us. And many times there are, I have needed strength. I have needed spiritual strength. I have needed physical strength. I have needed emotional strength. And some of you that are watching out there today, you are almost at the fainting spot. But the Lord has is bringing you hope today. He's bringing you encouragement today that you can go on if you will just wait upon the Lord. Come into agreement with Him. Serve him with all of your might. Renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. Now this is a picture of what God wants for his church. Right here, this very verse. Hallelujah. He wants you to walk and he wants you to run and he wants you to mount up with wings as eagles. You know, have you ever watched an eagle fly? I know I was going down this road, a side road uh, up in, in North Georgia, and all of a sudden, this eagle appeared and just flew uh, down and, and uh, across my uh, windshield. I saw that it was an eagle. It was a bald eagle, and it was so beautiful, and it was just there. And then I saw it as it mounted up and went into the air. You know, the eagles fly above the circumstances. They fly above the currents and the winds. And, and then when they get to a certain spot, 
they spread their wings and they begin to soar. You know, we are to soar like eagles. We are to have that hope within us. And it says in, in Matthew eleven twelve that the kingdom of God suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. And that word violent in the Greek means to be energized, full of energy. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Psalms 103, verse 5. You know, I said that we're going to start with verse 1. I love this, this psalm. This is one of my favorite psalms. He says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. You know, all of my soul, my will, my emotions, my feelings, uh, my opinions, all, I'm going to bless the Lord with all of those things. My will, especially my will. I'm going to mount up with wings as eagles. And the way we do that is blessing the Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all of his benefits. You know, daily he loads me up with benefits. Daily he loads you up with benefits. It's in the word of God. What do you need today? Seek his kingdom first and his righteousness, and all of these things will be added unto you. Do you need rent money today? Do you need your car payment paid? Do you need new tires for your automobile? Do you need um, just a, um, a dose of passion to come into your, into your marriage? Jesus has all of these things. Who forgiveth all of your iniquities, who healeth all of your diseases. A-L-L. -L. Diabetes is healed today. Cancer is gone and your body is healed of that today. Uh, migraine headaches are being healed right now. Back, uh, lower back difficulties, uh, disc in the lower back that's inflamed is being healed right now in Jesus' name. Uh, there is a, um, a knee, uh, a left knee that's being healed right now and giving God's putting in strength and, and new cartilage into that left knee, and it's being healed right now uh, in Jesus' name. Who redeemeth your life from destruction, and who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. You know, this morning when I woke up, I said to myself, Lord, your mercies are new unto me this day. I receive your mercy this day, Lord. And they're new. They're new every morning. And this is the verse I wanted to get to, verse 5. Who satisfies your mouth with good things. You know, we are to speak the word of God. Jesus says there's none good but the Father. And so God's word is good. And when we speak it out of our mouth, it satisfies us. It gives us strength. It gives us hope. It gives us encouragement. With good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. You know, over in Isaiah 40 31, it says, If we wait upon the Lord, if we come into agreement with His Word, if we serve Him, then our youth is going to be renewed. Our strength is going to be renewed. And here it says that our youth is going to be renewed like the eagles. You know, that I've, I've read some portions of a book, and it, it talked about drinking from the river. And it talked about as you drank from that river, the river of life, the river that, that issues or comes ushers out from the throne of God, as you drink that water, you become strengthened. And you can do what God has called you to do, and you can go forth and and. Reach your destiny. Reach your potential in Christ Jesus. You know, the prophetic voice is the word of God. It says that the word is a more sure word of prophecy. And then he also has prophetic individuals in the body of Christ who hear from the Father and give 
the message of the Father. And that message brings life. That message brings strength. That message wakes up those that are sleeping. You know, let's go to Matthew 24. In Matthew 24, you know, eagles do not gather as, they do not group. They're not like geese. Uh, they're not like other birds uh, that have um, a lot of them in one group and they fly together. Eagles are loners. They do not fly. Just like this eagle that you see behind me. Uh, they have their nest uh, at the top of the cliffs and the mountains and they do not normally group together. But listen to this verse right here. It's in, in chapter 24 and it's verse 28. These are Jesus' words. They're written in red. For wheresoever the body is, the carcass is, there will be the eagles gathered together. You know, the, the, the eagles protect the body. They come against the strongholds that are in the body. Uh, they come against any evil or perversion, uh, wickedness in the body. Uh, you know, one of their, their praise, you know, that they, um, they feed upon are snakes, are serpents, are rodents, uh, things that, that bring disease and harm. And, and they never touch the earth. When they fly down, they get their prey, and they see their prey from afar off. They come and they, they get that prey and they carry it, um, to their nest or to their place of eating, and and they gobble it up. And this is the way that the the prophetic voice in the body of Christ is supposed to be operating today. It is supposed to be coming against those strongholds. You know, there are times when my husband and I are sent to different cities and towns to bring down those strongholds, to bring down. Uh, what the enemy is trying to do and the influences in that territory or that area, witchcraft, anger, hatred, uh, prejudice, uh, all of these, uh, the, the wicked things that the enemy has tried to uh, bring to this city or this town. Uh, we go there when the Lord speaks to us and we pray. We walk, we pray, we redeem the land uh, with his, with his, um, you know, the, the blood and the and his body, we speak that over that territory. And this is one of our callings as um, we are an apostolic team. And, you know, the, the prophetic voice begins to come forth uh, in that as we're walking and praying and, and rises up and takes hold of the enemy. I was a place uh, just within the last few days, and what the Holy Spirit spoke to me was that when I began to speak, that I brought judgment on the head of the enemy. And, you know, and that's what we are to, to be doing. Another thing that we do is we anoint handkerchiefs. And this is found in Acts chapter 19, verses 11 and 12. It says that Paul wore handkerchiefs around his body and on his body, he touched those handkerchiefs, and the power of God, this is not spooky, this is not magic, but the and also these are free. You don't have to send us anything to receive one of these anointed handkerchiefs. But the power of God goes into these handkerchiefs, and when they are, it says in, in verse 11, that the sicknesses and diseases have to flee, uh, that evil spirits, Tormenting spirits have to leave wherever these are laid. People put them in their pillowcases. They put them underneath the mattresses. They lay them on their bodies. These, the anointing breaks or destroys the yoke. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are just placing within these handkerchiefs uh, your anointing and your power. 
to destroy the enemy. Lord, we mount up with wings as eagles this day with the prophetic voice. You know, and if you would like one of these handkerchiefs uh, through this ministry, all you have to do is uh, go to our website. Uh, we have an email that you can mail your address to, and we will certainly, we've already done some, and they've gone around the world uh, making a difference uh, in people's lives. And so, please, if, if there's, you know, something that the enemy is, is coming at you uh, strongly with, that um, let, us, let us send you one of these handkerchiefs. We would be glad to. Thank you, Lord. You know, as, the, as we talk about uh, mounting up with, with eagle's wings, um, the Lord wants us to operate in kingdom principles. You know, and if you'll turn with me to 1 uh, Corinthians chapter 13. This is how the kingdom operates. Chapter 13. The very last verse. Of course, the first part of that chapter is a very familiar chapter. It's about love. It's about um, not seeking your own. Um but operating in love. But look at verse 13. It says, And now abideth faith, hope, love. These three. But the greatest of these is love. And then if we go into the first verse of chapter 14, it says, Follow after love and des desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you might prophesy. You know, and as we prophesy in love, as we speak this word of God over ourselves, over our families, over our marriage, over our finances, over the ministry that the Lord has given us, over our pastors, over our congregations, God is going to move mightily. The eagles are going to mount up and begin to soar around your finances. The eagles will begin to mount up and soar around your families. The eagles will mount up and begin to soar around those in leadership in your congregation. You know, I sense right now that there are some congregations that are uh, floundering right now. I see them like fish uh, that are just floundering on the shore. And the Lord would speak unto you this day that you are to speak life to that congregation. You are to go and speak life in that congregation, in the leadership, in the, in the members that go there. You are to begin to prophesy life over that congregation and not death. You know, sometimes it's easy to go by what we see with our natural eye. And we begin to speak out what we see with our natural eye. But many times that will bring death. It will bring death. But the Spirit of God rise up, mount up eagles this day. Let the prophetic voice come forth and speak life where there has been death. You know, everybody wants to raise the dead. You know, I've talked to a lot of people. Oh, I'm going to raise the dead. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to see them come out of those coffins. I'm going to see them come out of those funeral homes, you know. And that's wonderful. And that's, it's certainly um, of the Lord and, and Jesus did it. If Jesus did it, you know, we can do it as well. But let me tell you something. There is a, also a different concept and perceptive spiritually we are to raise the dead. We are to mount up with wings as eagles, and we are to fly over those areas that need life spoken to them. And we are to speak what the Father tells us to speak, and life will come into that city. Life will come into that congregation if we will just mount up with wings as eagles. You know, in Romans, it says that 
We are to study to show ourselves approved, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, and, and many times, um, or there have been times, I'll just put it on myself here, there have been times when I've misunderstood the word of God or misinterpreted the word of God, but the Spirit of God will, will bring this word alive to us and put it in our hearts and give us the, the right interpretation. And so I just encourage you today uh, to get into your word, to study your word. That's part of mounting up with wings as eagles. You know, it says in Romans 12, 10, that we're to, to bring brotherly love into every situation. Let's go there in Romans uh, chapter 12, verse 10. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love. In honor, preferring one another. You know, I said that, that the way that we mount up is with faith, hope, and love. These three remain. You know, and when other things crumble and fall apart, faith, hope, and love will still remain. And it says that the greatest of these is love. And as we love our brethren, as we love those that, um, that are in the body and even those that are out of the body, that we can walk in the kingdom, that we can take the kingdom by force if we love. You know, I just want to pray with you today. I know that I'm speaking to some eagles uh, today, some prophetic intercessors, those that speak the word of God, and some of you even uh, travel as we do, uh, speaking over cities and, and towns and soaring. Um, I just want to encourage you today that what you're doing for the Lord is valuable, and what you're doing for the Lord is effective and influential. And, you know, we may not see uh, with our natural eye, anything that might be occurring that's different. But with our spiritual eye, see the eagle has that spiritual eye. It mounts up and it can see afar off. And it can see what the enemy is doing. And then it can come and come against that with the prophetic voice of God. Right now, I just want to encourage you and tell you to keep on doing the work that God has called you to do. Right now, I see a woman that has had some difficulty uh, with her female organs. Right now, the Lord is putting those hormones back into balance, and uh, your emotions are going to balance out and, and be what, what God wants them to be, steadfast and steady. Um, um, I see an individual right now that uh, you have seizures. Um, sometimes you don't. You It just comes on all of a sudden. And, and right now I speak to your brain and the wave uh, patterns in your brain that all will be well with your brain. That these seizures stop now in Jesus' name. Please remember these handkerchiefs. Send us an email uh, with your address, and we will be glad to, to send you one. Uh, we would love that. You know, the Lord wants his people healed. He wants them prospering. He wants them going forward in the kingdom of God. Thank you for viewing today.